Okay, so after doing a bunch of benchmarking for the last one full day, I realized there's something wrong with these partner boards um, which are being supplied by all these partners like Gigabyte, MSI, Zotac. So I noticed there's some coil whining in my card and I thought it only happens when the card is trying to boost up above 1950 uh, megahertz. So I realized that either even if I try a overclock, the game will always crash. So my recommendation is try to bring down your power limit uh, or even if you keep your power limit high, try to bring down the core clock because for some reason the card is trying to go over two gigahertz. So once you apply a minus 20, you can actually take up the, the bam, the the memory clock to like 600, 700 just to boost up some performance. But bring down this to minus 20, just tr try to make it more stabilized. And then when you run the game, try to keep your card uh, in the middle of 1850 to 1920 or 1950 megahertz. Uh, that will be like the sweet spot for making sure your card works perfectly. So let's see what happens. Uh, my understanding is see even if now it's going up to 1980 so there's something crazy happening for the, with this card even if I try to bring it down uh, it tries to suck up more more power and it's trying to really clock high and that's where the power delivery is failing so let's see whether the game runs stable with minus 20 megahertz uh, from MSI Afterburner. So right now we're stable at 1935. Uh, this is the part where I've been benchmarking a bunch of my stuff. So whenever I try to go up using the stairs, uh, the moment you get to the top, that is where the clocks really go high. So I think 1935, 1950, that will be like the sweet spot. And practically there's no real, um, I would say, performance difference. Like you will lose like one frame, even if you bring down the clock. But this will make your card way more stable. And let me check whether I'm getting any uh, quite whining now. while whining uh, on my part. This is with all the ray tracing and everything clocked to maximum settings so you can just verify if I go to advanced everything is on auto uh, ray tracing is enabled there is no limit to frame rate 100% resolution uh, I'm running a 3440 by 1440p uh, everything is on high yep that looks pretty 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 nice and it's much more stable so 
overall unless uh, there's a patch coming from Zotac. Um, I would be more than happy to uh, use this game with uh, a clock which is near 1900 to uh, 1950 and never exceed to 2000. Oh, I had to find Natasha. Come here. Let's see what happens. I think it's pretty stable now. Um, yeah, let's try with something different. By the way, I haven't been gaming too much, but I'm using my Strix 7.1 uh, headphones, and I cannot believe how amazing they sound after like having them for like three years. I've never really used them too much, but this game has like really immersive sound for a 7.1. Where are they shooting from? Like the sound is so 3D. I I just thought it's coming from the left hand side, but I cannot see anybody. Oh wow! You can see the ray tracing reflections. See, everything looks like spectacular. Where is this guy? Is he supposed to be inside or where? Wow, this part has like one of the best 3D sounds I've ever tried before.
I'm so much distracted with this KD sound that it's almost any. I cannot focus properly. Yeah, so clocks are like nearly stuck around 1900. I think that's a sweet spot. If you really want stable clocks. But I'm getting far and further away from Yeah, 1935. That's still pretty okay. Uh, I think this is this is like the limit for the RDX 3080s, which are like the board partners. So, my high highly recommend like keeping these values intact. And I think you guys will have a much stable uh, 3080 running on your on your machines.